Greetings, thank you for joining me today. This is Eddie Set Go, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the newly updated 2021 Yamaha MT-07. So Yamaha's dark side middleweight twin is getting a significant update for 2021, including upgrades to the styling, the cockpit, and the braking system. Only a few days ago, Yamaha pulled the covers of its larger sibling, the MT-09, a brand new machine packed with class-leading technology and on paper, class-leading performance, but at the same time, very much dividing opinion in the way it looks. Now, I wasn't afraid to share my opinion on the way the new MT-09 looks. I think I said in the video, uh, if I was going to be smitten with this bike, it would be based on the performance, not so much on the looks. And it appears that the MT-07 for 2021 is going to mirror that same new look that Yamaha are developing, this evolution of the dark side of Japan mantra that they have going. As you can see in the photos, the styling for the MT-07 has changed significantly. The bodywork has been scaled back, streamlined and made more slimmer. There's a heavy focus on the engine area and the mechanics, which I think gives the MT-07 a much more aggressive look. Just glancing at the bike, you'd be very much mistaken to thinking this was the new MT-09. It's not until you look down and see the twin downpipes, you realise it's the MT-07. I do like the deep grey gloss paint finish and the red wheels, very much an improvement I think on the outgoing Fluo Ice version. But first impressions aside, let's get down to the actual changes. The bodywork has been streamlined, especially around the fuel tank and the radiator to give it a more aggressive posture. Up front, the headlight for the MT-07 has also been significantly changed. We've gone from that conventional looking glass front headlight for the MT-07 and we now have a more MT-09-esque LED based front headlight. Yamaha promised this new headlight will give a much stronger high and low beam and as we can see in the photos the center light is flanked by LED lights much mirroring the design of the MT-09's headlight. Front and rear, the new MT-07 will benefit from full LED indicator turn signal lights. So it seems Yamaha are finally doing away with those big bulbous indicator lights we've had to live with all these years. Other style changes include crystal graphite engine covers uh, compared to the outgoing MT-07 which had that gunmetal finish on the engine cover which I thought looked quite good but this new design is much more sleeker and fits in with the overall new look of the bike. There is also a silver coloured exhaust pipe cover, which you can see on the right hand side here, matching the accents and the finish of the silencer and really does add a nice finishing touch to the low end. Swinging your leg over this new MT-07 and you will notice a slightly new riding position with brand new aluminium tapered handlebars that are 15 millimetres wider on each side to give a more assertive riding position. Gazing forward you will notice a brand new inverted LCD display compared to the outgoing version which had a much more conventional looking LCD and looked a bit dated in my opinion. This new display looks a bit trick like the outgoing MT-09 SP display with that inverted colour scheme so yes the 2021 MT-07 will have an inverted LCD display complete with spot colour accents. Elsewhere, the bike gets brand new, larger diameter, 298mm dual front brake discs, actuated by Yamaha branded four pot calipers. And rounding off all of these updates is a new Euro 5 compliant twin from Yamaha, which apparently gives a better linear response and a gutsier exhaust note. Power and weight remain the same as the outgoing version, and this new MT-07 will come in three colours, the Storm Fluo, which you're seeing on screen now, Icon Blue and Tech Black. What will change, however, is the price, and this new MT-07 will be about $100, £100, more expensive than the outgoing version to accommodate all of these new changes and updates. Now I don't think that's a bad compromise really, considering all of the styling updates and improvements you're getting on the new MT-07. LED tech in the lights, a new display, new headlamp, new riding position, a new Euro 5 engine, and a generally more compact looking bike. But as we know, the appeal of a bike goes way beyond what it can do on paper. What do you think about this new MT-07? Do you like the new streamlined look and the new MT-09-esque front headlight? 
For me, I think this is a huge step forward in the evolution of this bike. It looks more aggressive, has more focus, and generally looks less clunky and plasticky than the outgoing version. What is worth mentioning though is that this is a hugely important bike for Yamaha, especially with the recent unveiling of the Triumph Trident 660. Triumph's new budget middleweight comes complete with throttle by wire, riding mode, quick shifter, GoPro and sat nav integration. All little extra incentives that the MT-07 is going to have to compete with in 2021. But whether the MT-07 can compete with the Trident, we will find out in the coming months and the coming years. The MT-07 is a hugely popular bike for Yamaha, selling over 125,000 bikes so far, uh, and I'm pretty sure it will still remain a hugely popular bike in the showrooms. So there you have the newly updated Yamaha MT-07 for 2021. What did you think about the bike? Please drop a comment below and let me know. If you are new to the channel, then please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content and pop a thumbs up to support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. I've been Eddie Setgo. I hope you ride safe, stay safe. I'll see you next time.